Hi everyone. Today I wanted to talk about uh, an element that is called buffer. And let's start by uh, by its simulation and filling out the truth table. So here we have our buffer. Here is its input, and here is its output. Let's call our input input A, and output will be output Q. If so, so we can say if our input is zero, then the output of buffer is zero. If our input is one, then our output is also one. And this could lead to a question: Why do we need buffer? And uh, the answer is that buffer we need in those situations where we need extra power. For example. If here we have a source that uh, can give something like 25 milliamps, but if here we have a load that needs, for example, 50 milliamps, and if our source would be connected directly to the load, then this source couldn't couldn't give couldn't give enough power to drive this load. So we need an element between our source and our load that can uh, give this extra uh, extra power that we need. Because if we if here we have source that uh, can uh, give this 25 milliamps, but if here in the middle we have a buffer that can give something like 100 milliamps then this will be enough to drive our load and uh, what the buffer does it simply repeats the input signal in its output only the only difference is that the, the buffer can give this extra power and also uh, we, we need buffer also in those cases where for, for example we have multiple loads here will be our first load, here will be our second load, third and fourth load. And let's say that each of these loads need 10 milliamps uh, for, for their operation. Here, here and here. Okay. So now we can see that if we if we would connect our source only to two of these loads, that then with this uh, with with this power that uh, our source can uh, uh, that our source can provide would be enough to drive two of these loads. But if we would want to connect the third load, then uh, uh, then our circuit wouldn't wouldn't uh, work correctly because the source couldn't give the uh, give uh, this this much power. So also in this case, we can put here our buffer between our source and our loads. And in this case, we can see that our buffer can uh, provide hundred milliamps. So there is no problem to drive all four loads at the same time. I hope you I hope that this uh, this video uh, explained why do we need buffers. If you like my video and you found it useful then share it and like it and see you in my next video. Bye.